Hi, welcome to Telugu One Food. I'm your host Chef Savio Pereira, and today we'll be making vegetable Hakka noodles. So Hakka noodles is derived from the style of cooking from Hakka people. So it is predominantly used in cooking this style in regions of China, Taiwan, and other Asian countries. So let's start making a Hakka noodles. For the Hakka noodles, we have a packet uh, which is around 150 grams. Then we have vegetables. We have Chinese cabbage. Instead of Chinese cabbage, if you have the regular cabbage, local cabbage, you can use that as well. Then we have some sliced onions. You can use some uh, spring onion. The onion part also you can use along with the vegetables. Then we have some julienne carrots here, some julienne bell peppers, red, green, yellow. We have some chopped ginger, some chopped garlic, light soya sauce, salt, white pepper, vinegar, we are using white vinegar here and we have chicken broth powder so if you do not like chicken broth powder you can skip that as well so we'll start off by boiling our noodles so our water has come to a boil we'll add just a little bit of refined oil to the water so that the noodle doesn't stick we take the noodle and drop it in so we'll just wait for two minutes and then we can strain out our noodles So it's been two minutes already and our noodles is boiled. We do not want to overcook our noodles. So that is why we are just partially cooking it for around like 60% we'll be cooking the noodles, 60 to 70%. The rest of the cooking process will happen in the wok when we toss it with the vegetables. So now we'll just strain it into a strainer. Now just drizzle with some refined oil and so that your noodle doesn't stick to each other while it is cooling down. So now there is two process that you can follow. Some people uh, just add some cold running water to the noodle. But in this process what happens, the starch of the noodle just goes off in the water. So what if you like your noodle to be starchy, what you can do is, you can just spread it onto a plate, put some oil and leave it under a fan. So it will take hardly 5 minutes for the noodles to get cooled down. So our noodle is blanched. We had kept it down for uh, around 5 minutes to cool so our noodles get separated. Now we'll start by tossing our vegetable for the noodles. So we'll make a pan very hot so that you get a nice smoky flavor to your noodles and to your vegetables just like we get in a restaurant style noodles. So let's start by adding 2 tablespoons of refined oil to our pan. Now we'll add around 1 teaspoon of chopped garlic to it, half teaspoon of chopped ginger. and around half onion which is cut into julienne. You can use the onion part of the spring onion as well. Now we'll add some cabbage. We are using Chinese cabbage. Just a handful of cabbage. Now just give it a toss. Now we'll add just around handful of carrot here handful of cut bell peppers we need to balance our vegetable and the noodles so it should be like more of like 50 50 ratio 50 percent of vegetable 50 percent of the noodles if you feel that your vegetables are too dry you can drizzle some oil onto it now we'll reduce the flavor and we'll add a seasoning to it. So just some white pepper, some salt to taste, a tablespoon of soya sauce, we are using light soya sauce here and a tablespoon of white vinegar. Now just toss it and we'll add our noodles to it. So whenever we are adding our spices or we are adding any soya sauce or any other seasoning to our pan, we have to make sure that you keep your pan to a low heat, otherwise all your seasoning will get burnt. So now we will toss this again so that it gets mixed well. You can use a tong or a ladle if you are uncomfortable tossing it in a pan. 
Now once this is mixed properly you can put the heat on high again. Now we'll add some aromat powder to it. and toss it it's been almost like 3 to 4 minutes our noodle has been cooked properly now we'll finish it with some spring onions And we'll garnish it with little more spring onions. Mm -hmm. 